I thought I'd show you guys my uh, Dynamed uh, tire bead uh, installation. It's going in my uh, 1966 Bronco. And on here I have, uh, here are some general grabber red labels, or red letters, and they're 33 um, by 12.5 and R15. Um, I'll show you the reason why I'm actually putting these beads in. Uh, they're already balanced, so I just, but I'll show you the reason why I'm actually having to go to these beads. All right, hold on a second. So I've actually done a four wheel disc uh, brake conversion on this Bronco. And I recently got these tires and it's kind of been an issue with these. Uh, if you look at the disc brake here, it's extremely, I'm trying to, right here, it's probably about a few millimeters between the actual caliper and the rim. So it's a very tight fit. And all these, uh, the, these, uh, the, the balancing weights here, the lead weights, are actually hitting the caliper. So I hear like this click, 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 click. When I'm driving down the street. This one you can't really see it, but the weights are actually, there's a different row of weights that are up here. And they're actually hitting the caliper. So, yeah, I don't know if I can see better on this side, but as you can see, the, the balancing weights over here, as I go up, they're basically hitting the caliper. And you hear this click, click, click. So I need to find a way to balance these tires without using weights. So I guess I thought I'd give uh, Dyna beads, or actually tire beads, or what are they called? Uh, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll show you in a couple seconds. I ordered them off eBay. They're like 50 bucks. But all right, let me uh, get back and I'll show you the package I bought. Let me show you this little package I got on Amazon. Um, so I've already done two tires already, and so it came with actually four of these, these bags. So um, I wanted to kind of figure out how to do it first, and then I put make a video about it. But it comes with like a little bottle, and a little plastic hose, and a Schrader uh, valve removal tool. Um, one of the things that didn't come in this box, and which I ordered separately, was this thing from Tire Beads. And what it is is it's a uh, there's like a little filter in there, so. If you ever have to let air out of your tires, let's say if you're off-roading or whatever, uh, you're not going to have beads flying out the uh, or clogging in your uh, valve stem here. But uh, so the total was probably about it was like f almost fifty dollars, like forty-five for the beads, and these were probably about six or seven dollars for four of these little um, valve stem things here, or like Schrader valve things here. Um, so let me show you how to fill this thing real quick and um, come back here. So this also came with a manual and instructions on how to how to do this, but typically uh, the way I did it in the last two tires is I uh, took the bag, moved it upside down, and just cut. These beads are tiny and they get over everywhere very fast. So cut just a very tiny piece off the corner of this thing and just let me see if I can get a better angle. Be very careful because these beads are tiny and they'll get everywhere. So I'm going to fill the rest of this bottle up and show you. So now I have this uh, little container full. I'm going to head over here and you can see that bronco right there. I'm going to jack up the back rim or back uh, axle, one per side. I'm going to drain the air out of the tires and. Um, Put these beads in. It's it's actually not a hard job. It's just kind of time consuming because the, it takes a while to get the beads in the tire. And I'll I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's the first thing we're gonna do is uh, take the air out of the tires. And uh, what I have here is a little um, like air filling uh, fitting there. And I had the jack back off, so this should help me uh, get the air out. So sometimes uh, I mean holding this on there takes a while to get the air out and usually once I get some of the air out and I get down to probably like 10 or 15 PSI I take this I take the Schrader valve out um, with air still in the tire and it allows the air to come out way quicker but the main thing is you got to be really careful because it's going to shoot the Schrader valve it wants to blow it out of the, out of the valve and you know you don't want this thing to hit your eye because it'll take your eye out so just take the valve out and put your fingers there and pull it out and hold it as it's coming out because the thing will blow right out so let me show you just be really, really careful. And don't have your face right in front of it either.
Now all the air is out of the tire. Um, I'm going to put this little uh, plastic nozzle on the uh, valve stem here and then pour the beads in. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that um, I'm actually using 8 ounces of, of these beads, but there's a chart on their website, you know, Dyna Beads, and they'll actually recommend an amount of, uh, you know, I guess uh, how much weight to put in, or how many beads to put in each of these tires, but for my tires they said uh, 8 ounces, so that's what I have. Slide this on this bell thing here. Yeah, make sure it's tight because I said these beads are tiny and they'll fly everywhere. So I'm gonna screw that on there. And I'm gonna see if I can zoom in here a little bit. So you can see what I'm doing there. There we go. Okay, and put the tip in. And let it go slowly. I'll try to move this so you can see it in the camera. But kind of let it go a little bit slow. Now if you go too fast, it's gonna fill up like that. And if, if it fills up like that, just tap it like that. And it'll, it'll go down. Yeah, but really you should keep like a steady slow pace. But uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass, it takes a while, but you know, I guess these are supposed to work way better than uh, the counterweights um, because as the tires wear out, the the, sh the, about the tire shifts. It doesn't have the same kind of uh, imbalance as it had before. So, in the long run, these are actually way better, and they'll actually make the tires last longer. So, and you should have a better ride too. So, um, well, that's what I've read online so far. So I've never tried them. This is the first time I've ever tried them. So, um, all right, I'm gonna keep on doing that and. Once I'm done with this, I'm gonna put the uh, new like uh, filtered valve stem in there or seal in there, and uh, take this thing for a spin. Or then I'm gonna take the counterweights off and uh, take it for a spin. All right, cool. I have the uh, beads in, so I'm gonna put this little um, little, little uh, it's a filter. It's a little filtered uh, valve stem. So here's the original valve stem. And then you can see like the uh, filtered valve stem. So, yeah, the reason why I have that. So if I'm actually off, out, out off roading, and I want to lower the airs in the tire to get better traction, I don't have a million different beads just shooting up out of it. Because that's what happens. The beads will just blow right out of here, and uh, that'd be a nightmare because it's messy. But all right, I'll just twist that back in there. Not too tight, you know. Just give it like good snug in there. Yeah, because you don't want to strip it. If you strip your valve, it's going it suck. Okay, give this thing some air. And I fill this air, 35 PSI, because I'm on the street. And uh, that's about it. And uh, hopefully this works, because uh, every time I was driving down the street, I could hear click, 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 click. Every time the counterweights would hit the caliper, click, 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 it was very annoying. I mean, it wasn't really loud, but it was just sort of annoying because I could hear a click. I couldn't hear it when I was going fast, but when I was slowed down to a stop sign, I just started hearing click, 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 click. So, um, hopefully this resolves it. Well, I mean, I know it's going to resolve it, but hopefully this will actually be able to balance the tires. So, cool. So that's how I did it.